Welcome back, and then uh, it's about the fuel situation next on Sunrise. Now, let's get across to Igwe Achese, who is the president of Nopeng, to get his perspective on what he thinks is going on. Morning, and thank you for joining us. Well, we've seen some reports in the dailies today, but give, oh, us your, give us your perspective. What do you think is going on at the moment while we've got this shortage? But, but at, at the moment now, we, we, we see in some of the uh, dailies, the, they're quoted to have said that they've got um, uh, 166.91 million liters of fuel stock in depots, even though marketers are blaming NNPC for that. Are you aware of that? Of course, there are products stored in various major marketers' depots. When you begin to stop products, instead of storing products in NNPC facility, what is the brain behind that? I have said clearly that NMPC claim they bring in 70% of petroleum products. But 70% of petroleum products to which facilities? Is it to the NMPC facilities or to the private depots? And these private depots are the major marketers themselves who are also giving 25% of the position to bring in petroleum products. I have said clearly that government should deviate from this system of Mr. Chesa, what the, the picture you're painting here is a picture that's, that's um, telling a story that's not likely to be a clean one in the next five to ten years. What exactly do you expect should be done, if you could just itemize it, maybe in the next three or five sentences? Uh, what I expect to be done, one, is to make sure our refineries are working optimally, making sure that crude oil availability that are made to this refinery are very much ready to take off without crude oil, and, and then to see that uh, government pays subsidy to government and not pay subsidies or triple arrangement to individuals. I've, I've given some options that years back in the 80s that NMPCs are the so important of petroleum products, where did I come around maintenance of this refinery in the case that rises? And that you only give the 30 days or 90 days breaks, as the case may be, to the major marketers who are also players today in the industry, key players, and then they are not also uh, uh, doing the necessary things to put in refineries on ground, making sure they are also bringing in our products to the only thing that most of the major marketers are doing is to export our oil out of this country and then in the name of importation of white products they bring in these petroleum products to this country and we cannot continue in doing business in that way that is a means of mortgaging the nation's economy for those who are basing their argument on the FS market I want to say FS market on the prior market with quite different issues the issues of the regulatory agency where everybody goes to do their business at the banks is controlled by the CBN, is controlled by government. And when you buy your product directly, uh, your agent doing directly from the banks, from CBN, the price variation is quite different. If you go to the open market to get products on your own, I mean, there are dollars on your own, then that is your business. And for government must be able to say, we are on top of these issues, it is our own policy. 
All right, uh, thank you very much indeed, uh, Igwe Achese.